Hey our fellow exiles, I am Marana, warrior grandmama back in the exiled lands and today I wanted to um, talk to you about dyes. Um, I love dyeing everything <laughs> in this game so dye making is usually something that I try to get. It's a great way to really personalize and individualize your Conan Exiles game by being able to change the armor into your favorite colors and all. For example, the um, Royal Lemurian gown that I'm wearing here, um, turn towards the sun to get the best light. <laughs> um, this is my favorite color selection for this particular outfit. Now it originally looks like this. Did I get all my pieces switched out? So I mean it's not horrible but I like the blue and the silver so I typically will go in and you know just make it my own favorite color. Um, it is also the new Numidian DLC, People of the Dragon, that came out not too long ago. It's got a pretty cool set of armor. This is the Numidian Officer set. And it looks pretty cool. I mean, I like that. Nothing wrong with it. But what I really like is this particular shade of blue. So yeah, it's fun to mess around with. And a lot of times, you know, dye making isn't anything that's essential to survival in Conan Exiles. So a lot of times it's just something that really isn't worth the time trying to learn. So I'm just going to show you today real quick um, everything you need to know about dye. How to get it, where to get it, how to use it, all of the things. So, um, so first off you have ultimately the dyer's bench. This is where all the magic will happen. But leading up to that you will need glass flasks to make your dye in. So you need to start with the very basics which would be the mold, the glass mold. Now this is something that you uh, will need to make on the blacksmith's table. So the blacksmith will make that mold which you will use um, on the next crafting table that we'll talk about in just a minute. But then to get the glass, um, glass drops fairly regularly. Um, I get a lot just from looting out and about in the game, but if you really want to have a large quantity of glass, you just need some crystal. Now there's a couple of places that I like to um, farm the crystal. The first being Scuttler's Shortcut. Um, this is a cave along the river is right here. So right now I'm at this edge going from the desert into the north and Scuttler's Shortcut is right down here. I am going to take Amos with me. So this is... Mm, Scuttler's shortcut. The reason I usually bring a follower with me is two reasons. Um, to kill the spiders so I don't have to aggravate with them and I can just get in, get the crystals and get out. 
so as you come into the cave, um, you'll come across a little patch um, of crystals. I just keep on going because the next area where you get into them, there's a lot more. You really can just stand in one place and <laughs> just mine and get them all. <gasps> and here is where I was talking about you get the bar where there are just a lot of crystals and I mean you just literally have to just walk around here he comes I hear him there he is thanks for joining us Amos I took care of all the spiders appreciate it um so yeah this is a great place for getting crystal uh, and I believe there is yeah I mean just turn the camera so we can get a, a cool shot of that. So once you have your crystals, you'll come back and just pop them in the furnace. And voila, glass. Uh, two crystals make one piece of glass. Um, and three pieces of glass will make one flask. So once, once you have your glass, then you just come over to the casting table. This is the casting table. Um, you'll need to put your glass flask mold in. Um, again, this is something that you get from the... You make it on the blacksmith table. Oh, and I, I need to mention too, you can't do die making until level 25. That's when you can unlock the... Um, the feet so you have to be level 25 to be able to make it yourself so once you have um, your glass you'll just come over and of course you'll need something to cook it with and then just click on three glass in the mold and now once you have your flasks um, I pull them down on my toolbar. I think, and I'll test it. I'll test it. You may have to have it on your, your toolbar, but we'll see. You can fill it up at any, at any water source. Um, even the wells, you can do it at a little well, but you only get about... 25 yep and you'll get 25 filled out of a regular small well before you have you wait have to wait for it to fill up again and then of course you can also get the water from the big well lakes river streams and now you need the dyer's bench for actually making the dyes we'll open it up put in our water filled flasks and this is I am on a non-modded version of Conan Exiles so this is um, all of the recipes that you can get in regular vanilla Conan Exiles I know some of the um, Some of the mods have additional colors, like really brighter fluorescents and um, and things like that. So, say we wanted to make coagulated red dye, Highland berries, flask, craft. Now, one thing I will just kind of throw out there: um, the colors will not always look on the armor like the color does in the flask. Um, it, you know, has a lot to do with if it's, if it's leather or fur or metal, what it is that's being dyed. So if you have a color in mind, maybe make one of those or, you know, a few of those to dye one piece and make sure it's going to be the color you want. Because sometimes 
the red that you think it's going to be on the armor, and I'll show you that um, in a little bit, isn't necessarily the red that it turns out being. So um, I always will do some test colors um, just to make sure. Most of the materials that you need for making the dye um, are real easy. I mean, desert berries. Super easy to get. Um, you know, this abysmal violet dye is just highland berries and desert berries and the, the flask. Um, green dye, plant fiber. Um, if you want a cyan color, you'll need glowing goop for that. Glowing goop, I find, I don't have it marked, marked on this map, but um, I get so much of it, <laughs> I know pretty much exactly where to go. There's an obelisk up in this area, and the glowing goop is right along in here. So that's, and like I said, that's the the largest concentration unless you feel like going to the dregs and going into the the dungeon there. There are a few colors that um, do require some materials that are a little more intensive to get than just picking berries in the highlands or the desert. Um, one of the, well black dye, that's going to require oil. So to make black dye you'll need five oil and the Waterfield Flask, that's just kind of more of a little bit of a pain to get to make sure you have white dye, which is one of my absolute, I have to have a lot of white dye because um, anything that's metal, most of the time if it's the metal part of armor and you put white dye on it, it'll make it silver. And I love silver on everything. <laughs> so I always need a lot of white dye. And of course, the white dye requires raw ash. So that is going to take a little bit of a trip up to the base of the volcano to get raw ash. It'll drop occasionally um, from random mobs but for any amount of any quantity let's see how close I can get to where I need to be okay excellent right exactly where I wanted to to come in so the road of the pilgrim is where you want to go to get the raw ash um, it's a byproduct of mining obsidian. Now, coming up here it does require a little run through the skellies around the Black Keep, so just be aware of that. I usually have a follower with me to help keep me out of trouble. Amos has a very hard job. Um, but the largest amounts of raw ash you'll get from mining the obsidian. You also will get some gold, um, some gold stone. So the raw ash you need for making white dye. Where did my white dye go? White dye. So that's for your raw ash. It takes three pieces of raw ash to do one white dye. There is a light dye colorant, so if you have blue and you want light blue, um, just it's five bones and a flask of water. Uh, dark dye colorant, I believe is, where did it go? It's oil. Or tar. Where? Tar. Dark dye 
colorant to make dark blues and dark reds, that is three tar for a flask. Okay, so we've made our dye, and now we want to dye our armor. I'm just going to dye uh, this that I have on. So I like to, if possible, have the armor on so I can see when I'm doing it, what the colors are doing. You can just click on something in your inventory. You can just click on something in your inventory and see it. Um, but then it it goes back in the inventory. If you have it on, you can see it as soon as you do it. So let's take this chest piece and let's say I wanted to do, I don't know, we'll just pick some random colors. Some purple and yellow and bright yellow. <laughs> that what is that deep sea green dye um, now this is uh, one of the things I think I mentioned earlier if I didn't then we'll talk about it now not everything on every piece of armor can be dyed um, which is really kind of a bummer sometimes because if you wanted the like the the metal part of this to be a different color right now that can't you can't change that it's going to be that color or you can change um our kind of the leather pieces but then there are some metal pieces on it that you can change so it's kind of it's kind of random and that's just something to keep in mind but you can just change it to whatever colors and go into each piece and we'll just make this kind of a rag <laughs> ragtag colored outfit um, so yeah that's how you dye your armor. Now you can, if you have your armor on your thrall, you can, oops, go into, you can go in and dye the armor while it's on them. But, so let's make this like a bright yellow, um, but when you save it and go out of it, it doesn't change on him. I typically just go ahead and take their armor off and dye it because of this. I can't tell you how much dye I wasted the first time I tried to dye um, something on the thrall because I kept thinking it didn't take. But you pull it off and then when you put it back, the color change has taken effect. So if you make, if you dye it on the thrall, it won't change until you take that piece off, oops, until you take that piece off. And then the next time you put it back on him or you put it on or what have you, that's, when the color change comes in. The raider armor that he has on, the Hycranian raider armor, that's a good example of colors not always looking exactly like you think they may look. And it's it's kind of bizarre. Like the this color is for the main part of the pants and if you say oh I want them to be this dark red or deep red it's got a reddish tint to it um, orange 
it just you really can't even tell the colors brighter colors like the blood red, the blood red dye um, the full yellow dye the pink those will really show but there are just some others that the darker dyes that aren't going to look like what you may want them to look like so just and, and like and that that's a that's a good color example it the deep sea green I mean it looks like it's going to be a really bright electric and it's really just a very teal so it's hard to tell sometimes judging just by the color what it's going to do the, Lem the Lemurian Royal gown this is a good example of so the orange is the metal part and you can dye that in this and this is one where white dye is going to give it that silver now weapons shields saddles um, placeables things like that um, are not able to be dyed I kind of wish saddles you you could with saddles because there are some really cool saddles that I think would be some great colors um, here are just a few sets of armor that um, I've dyed um, that one I think I used <laughs> experimenting so that's not the original on the left is the original armor and on ooh, okay on the left is the original armor and on the right is um, the dyed version that I just threw together just so you can see how um, it can really change the look of things and that's it um, I hope this was helpful and you got some good information out of it a sandstorm is coming so it's a good time to go ahead and wrap it up um, let me know what you think of the <laughs> some of the armor colors that I picked out here in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe and I will check you out in my next video until then take care and play nice